Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another episode of our tutorials at the LLB Society. This time I'm going to tell you a story uh, from Aesop with the title of uh, The Eagle and the Jackdaw. And uh, you are probably can, are going to learn some vocabulary uh, in this story. So, okay. Let me see. The, uh, the text has been adopted from Gutenberg Project at Gutenberg.org, which falls into the ca category of uh, l l uh, free materials and a public library, and you can use the material uh, without violating or infringing the copyright laws. So the title is The Eagle and the Jackdaw. Jackdaw is an old fashioned word for crow. So, uh, an eagle flying down from his perch on a lofty rock seized upon a lamb and carried him aloft in his talons. So, there has been an eagle flying down from his perch or nest or another technical word is eerie, A-E-R-I-E, -E, which is a difficult word, but anyway, it perfectly matches with this one, I mean, perch, on a lofty or high rock, seized upon a lamb or grabbed a lamb and carried him or took him aloft high in the sky in his talons. Talons uh, means uh, claws of an eagle or hawk or other hunting birds. Okay. Uh, so, you know, at the Little Bit Society, you can learn vocabulary and context. For example, if you just click on that, you will learn about it with images and in real context. Okay, a jackdaw who witnessed the capture of the lamb was stirred with envy and determined to emulate the strength and flight of the eagle. So, a jackdaw or a uh, crow was witnessing or observing the eagle just uh, capturing or catching the uh, lamb and uh, let's see what happens so uh, the uh, jackdaw was stirred with envy so there was a pang of jealousy envy means jealousy and he was moved uh, or overwhelmed with a pang of jealousy and determined means decided to emulate emulate is a good word for you to learn it means to imitate to copy the strength and flight of the eagle so it's clear so he decided to do exactly the same uh, as the eagle did he it means that jackdaw flew around with a great wear of his wings where refers to the soft buzzing sound that that is usually made when something is whirling so of his wings and settled upon a large ram ram uh, is, a sh uh, is a strong and large uh, ship compared to a lamb you know it's uh, larger and stronger than a lamb so with the intention of carrying him off so he decided to just uh, grab the ram and uh, take it aloft or let's say take it high into the sky uh, but his claws or talons but actually it's better to say claw because talons are stronger became entangled or stuck in the in the ram's fleece or the woolen cut the woolen coat of birds fleece fleece woolen part or coat of birds of uh, sheep or cattle not birds uh, cattle for example uh, sheep or uh, let's say love stike anyway and he was not able to release himself so to let it go see so he was stuck or entangled uh, okay although he fluttered with his feathers as much as he could. Fluttered 
means to move back and back and forth. Uh, so he did his best to just be released, but he couldn't. Fluttered. Okay, the shepherd, seeing what had happened, ran up and caught him. So there, there was a shepherd nearby, and he observed what had happened, and he just approached uh, the poor jackdaw and just got him or caught him. He at once means immediately clipped the jackdaw's wings. Clip means uh, cut. Uh, and taking him home at night gave him to his children. <laughs> the kind of, I don't know, gift or sh souvenir. <laughs> Under saying, Father, what kind of bird is, is it? This is uh, what the, his children asked him. He replied, so the shepherd replied or answered, to my certain knowledge, he is a jackdaw. So as far as I can uh, see, he is a crow or jackdaw, but he would like you to think an eagle. But he likes you to think him as an eagle. So because he was pretending, remember, he was pretending to be an eagle, but he didn't have the strength and speed uh, and any other necessary, let's say, property or capabilities as the eagle had. And related idioms, proverbs, or phrases. There are two words that I think you need to know, and they are closely related to, the, uh, to this story, and one of them is begrudge. As a verb, if you just click on that, you will see more related lessons, you know, at the LLB Society. I will provide you with the link to this material in the description area right down below. So when you begrudge someone, it means you hate someone or you just resent someone because they have something that you lack, that you don't. And this, this is a kind of resentful or contemptuous feeling, which is so negative. And covetous. When you become covetous, it means you covet someone's property or someone uh, or you become jealous of them because they have something that you don't and uh, yeah you know in this short fairy tale in english you you can see uh you can learn a lot of, of vocabulary good vocabulary academic literary vocabulary and also at the little society if you just select any word uh, you can listen to the word so it's talking to you. Uh, uh, the, the whole website is interacting with you in a good way. And also, you can f uh, further or expand your reading with the help of these materials. For example, English Short Stories, Reading Practice in English, Aesop's Fables. If you click on any, one, any of these buttons, you will uh, be able to read more uh, let's say materials begrudge birds a covetous eagle emulate envy and some related lessons the north wind and the sun another fairy tale from Aesop again and the sick lion English fairy tale with podcast another fairy tale and also the miser English fairy tale with vocabulary practice again from Aesop. You know, uh, I've decided to cover the most important Aesop's fables, the most popular, because I, uh, first of all, mm, uh, there is something nice to learn, to take as a lesson, you know, from the stories. Uh, the stories are didactic, that means you can learn, and also you can learn uh, mm, good vocabulary. And remember, at the Little Bit Society, you can also leave comments here at the bottom of each post. There's a comment form, and you can use that to leave us questions and expect to receive answers. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care of yourself, and see you soon. Bye-bye.